praise the lord my name is peter i'm a child of god i'm a living witness to our lord and savior jesus christ i'm married and i have two kids brothers and sisters who are listening i request you to take just a minute and think about the occasions where god has saved us till this moment it is very many occasions God has saved us. God, Jesus, insisted me to share my testimony, which happened very recently. It was two months back, July 1st. I was walking from home. Suddenly, I got a very severe headache. I couldn't bear the headache. I never had a severe headache like this. So I never took half an permission in my office, but I applied for a time off that day and I was taking rest at home. That night I had a severe headache, chilling out and vomiting. I took two more days off. As usual, we used to try the home remedies, taking rest and taking some medicines. Nothing helped me out. So I decided to go to a nearby hospital. They checked me out and said it may be infection. We typically want you to scan and check out. So they took me to the bigger hospital to scan me and they scanned and they found I got an infection out of my brain. I was just touched in my heart and I was thinking what is going on? Why I got this? They had no reason why I got that. I was thinking about my home, my wife. My two kids are waiting for me to come back home night. I know I have a lot of good friends around me, but we all know we are living in this trial and tribulation COVID time. I don't want to disturb my friends. Oh, I asked for the doctors and then I left the hospital taking a taxi that night back home. I see my spouse and my two kids waiting and desire to see me at that night. They're so happy to see me coming back home. But still, I had a terrible headache. I told to my spouse, the doctor said, I have an infection, I need to stay and they need to treat me. We are crying out, praying that night and I was trying to sleep. After a while, God gave me a vision. I typically opened my eyes and I saw a skull, the human skull. The front portion of it, I can see the nose and eyes, the skulls. The interesting part is I saw that skull right on top of a poster in my bedroom. Victory in the name of Jesus. I have a poster called Victory in the name of Jesus in my bedroom. And I saw the skull right on top of it. I couldn't understand it. Why God is showing me this? Then next day morning, I had a severe headache I couldn't bear. I called my spiritual friends Sam and John and left my kids with them to take care of them. Me and my spouse, we went to the hospital. They did the MRI, they scanned and checked me again and they gave me a detail of what exactly happened to me. They told I got infected all around my brain and it's getting into my brain. That is the reason I'm getting all this severe headache. And also they told they saw a bone part as actually missing it from my brain. And also that specific membrane around the brain is damaged and it is teared off. I shocked listening to that because the skull I saw, the bone I saw, in the vision was exactly the picture they were showing me in the scan report. God is insisting me of that, what I got, what I'm going through. So that reminded me that I have to go through this treatment. I asked for the reason I got it. They said it may be high pressure, but they couldn't give me an actual reason I got that. I was in the treatment. We all know that we are in the COVID season, even nobody is allowed with the patients. But from that week, graciously, they allowed one person to stay with the patient so my spouse could stay with me. 
that was so gracious so we are admitted and i was praying with my spouse and i was thinking remembering of jesus delivered me 2014 that was my testimony 2014 i got into a very severe pain and suffering had two holes under my brain and had a csf leak and jesus healed me miraculously i was remembering god you you saved me you healed me i got saved in 2014 with my family lord why this happened to me i was thinking about it but god gave me the peace and the joy in my heart that his presence is with me i am a child of god he wanted me to walk through this path for a purpose i was thinking about it and we are praying together in the hospital my wife she is a blessing in my life she is given as a gift in my life she was carrying me not only physically but spiritually supporting me always next to me in the bed and her praying praying and she was fasting brothers and sisters it's not only the physical we have a lot of spiritual warfare in this world when jesus is with us nobody can stand against us hallelujah i like to share very shortly what happened to jula 8th was my schedule surgery they said they need to do a surgery fast as possible through my nose so jula 6th around 6:30 or 7:30 I was just lying down in the bed and I can see an army of the devils trying to standing on the left side of my bed and trying to pull and fight with my spirit has God teach me I was holding on to the sword the word of God and praying in my heart my wife realized that and she was praying with authority and power and all the army everything was casted out as god said stand against the devil he'll flee from you god has given us the authority in his name exactly the same time on the next day july 7th i saw again on my left side the heart was so heavy the satan is trying to pull my heart my soul out of my body but my body mind and soul everything i surrendered to jesus 2014 and he had the authority over me he set me free we are so blessed with lot of prayer warriors prayer leaders spiritual leaders pastors and churches and family members brothers and sisters playing praying praying for us and holding us spiritually Yes, we have trials and tribulation in this world, but we are not alone. All our spiritual families is standing with weapons for us. I realized that. The next day, I have gone through the surgery, and I was in anesthesia. I couldn't realize anything. And after the surgery, I wake up. I saw my spouse next to me. and god showed me a word very clearly it is finished by jesus it is sealed he delivered it is all over all praise to jesus i like to share a special messenger god sent my wife was so alone and crying out and there are a lot of people praying and supporting her spiritually and she got a text from our spiritual family john and joslyn so john and joslyn our spiritual friends they are walking in the park praying for me suddenly a man ran and came to them and said the holy spirit is driving me to go to you and ask and pray for you so they were so surprised how I'd never seen this man he ran to me and asking for what what's going on and he was to pray for me 
and that is the Holy Spirit sending the messenger and they told we are praying for my friend Peter he is going to the surgery today and they prayed together in the park and he gave a word saying the healing and the deliverance is coming from the grace from the throne room hallelujah from the throne room you are getting the healing you are going to see many signs and wonders soon and he left my wife was showing the message my friend texted it was a so joyful in our painful path and trials we walked through so we God was clearly equipping us yes brothers and sister who are hearing this I'm saying God has the plan in his hand whatever ministry we are doing we are being a testimony and a witness for Christ God has different path to take us 2014 he saved me and raised me as a living witness by giving a word you will be my witness witness of the light and others believe through you John 1 7 when the word is given it will never go back empty it is giving that testimony in my life and insisting and insisting and I am being a living testimony for Christ till today and forever yes we may walk through some painful darkness in our life but reason God is walking us through that path may be to save somebody from the darkness but showing the light of Christ to do them and also God insisted me and I was remembering about Paul and Sila everyone know Paul and Sila was beaten and uh, upside down they were hanging in the prison what they were doing they're rejoicing and singing in Christ so brothers and sisters whatever pain we are walking through everyone knows the whole world have no answers there is no true priest in this world we have sickness we have disease we have tribulations we have temptation all the darkness no peace in this world whatever pain you are passing through whatever need you are in open your heart and look up to Christ he is the way he is the truth he will set you free when the sun set you free you are free indeed and I am realizing I am realizing that every day as a family and testifying about Jesus yes Paul and Sila even the pain they sing and rejoiced and they set free the prison officers standing there Yes, you may, we may walk through in the pain, but God has a greater purpose out of that path to set others free. We surrendered our mind, our body, so everything to Christ for the ministry for his kingdom. So wherever he is taking us, we are there for his ministry. We, God has given us a more joy. I was in the ICU for a few days. God gave me more strength sharing the goodness and testimony of Christ to all the doctors and the nurses and whoever I see we are sharing the good news in the hospital yes wherever the thirsty the Holy Spirit will pour the living water he is using us to share the good news in the hospitals I was so rejoiced in doing the ministry God gave me more strength even to walk around in the ICU in that painful moments and people the ICU patient looking around was supported and rejoicing how he is different and nurses and doctors asking how you are different I said I am a living testimony for Christ Jesus yes now we rejoice it's been only two months and God totally recovered me yes we need to praise God so whatever pain you are passing through whatever path you are in I just ask for two minutes now to surrender your life to Christ again and ask for the true peace the true peace and joy is coming only from Christ the world is going to end soon Christ is going to come back soon we are living in the end of days I'm begging you 
who are hearing this message this true message i am giving the truth as truth yes god is revealing he is coming is very soon i beg you to spend 2 minutes and kneel down and pray and ask for god's peace and deliverance and the holy spirit to come within you and set you free when the sun sets you free you are free indeed in jesus name amen